Hey, hello and welcome back. So we have got a specific uh, agenda for today's session. So what we are discussing is taking a screenshot and attaching it with a current activity and timestamp, right? So taking a screenshot is really a vital part of any of the testings and it's important that we save it. But how about saving it with the current activity which gives some, some amount of fair idea on what screen it's failed and also saving it in a timestamp so that you don't need to worry about having to generate any of the unique uh, numbers because the timestamp itself will be unique, right? Let's get started. So I've copy pasted all of the previous code just to, it'll, in, it, it'll launch the uh, Flipkart site and we are going to take the screenshot. So it's a pretty simple, only few uh, lines of code will be able to achieve it. So in this preparation of uh, taking this in preparation of taking the screenshot, I've created a screenshot folder under my project. So you may need to do the same thing and let's get one by one. So let's get, uh, let's understand how a timestamp can be generated and then how the current activity can be generated so that we will be ready with the file name and save the file name as a screenshot. So these are the pretty three simple steps. Number one step, let me print out, uh, maybe I'll, create another file let me save that as screenshot demo what i'm going to show you is print time dot str because time it doesn't understand unity import it the easy way you can do it just click on here import this name and you will get the timestamp so that's automatically imported and then you say that str format of time so what we are trying to do is in a timestamp so you need to specify the format of the timestamp so i'm specifying the timestamp in a format that percentage y and percentage m in cap small character and and percentage d and percentage h r and then minute and then second so this will print out the current time in this format but if you wanted to put it in for example say i need an underscore after this an underscore after month and underscore after d you can also do so. so let me print and show it to you what is that it is coming so this looks good so we need a timestamp with current year month and date right another thing Another important thing is the driver current activity. So there is a method in uh, web, the driver, the driver that we got, which says that current activity. So combining together, the file name will be ready, right? Let's form the file name, which is nothing but the same code that we have written here. That's nothing but this is the one timestamp. Let me say this as timestamp. And then there is a method called current activity. So if you put driver dot current activity, you see this is the property. It is not a method. Remember, it is a property. So you can just leave it like this. You don't need to close this, right? Just leave this. This is going to return a string and combination of string and integer. So if you just hover it, and this is saying that if you press control, it is saying that it is going to return a union. So union is nothing but a combination of anything, right? So different data types but generally it returns a string. So this is the current activity. So let me say this is activity name. Okay, so we are ready now with this two thing, but what we are going to do is a saving this screenshot. So let me save this together as a file name. File name equal to TS because we wanted to get that sorry the activity name first and then this is a concatenation of string and you put ts there so our file name is now ready so third step will be to save the screenshot in python saving the screenshot it is very simple it's just a one line of code you need to say that driver dot and if you say screenshot you can see different methods the method we are going to see is a save screenshot and save screenshot needs your full path right so which path you want to create i've created a screenshot folder already right click it and copy the path and put the path inside it 
this needs a full path name plus the extension of the file should be png so remember that you need to clo clo i mean provide that and again it doesn't uh, end here you need to append this with the forward slash because that's what you're going to save it and you need to um, concatenate your file name so the file name property will come here right and then close it again you need to add this with the png extension right okay so this is clear now um, so driver dot save screenshot will do will first initially get the screenshot and save it to this path so the path here is the screenshot path here and in the form of the file name so the file name is a combination of current activity current activities in the current screen a relatively name i think you can correlate with the current activity with the screen name and also the timestamp so this will be unique always every time you run it let's run this program and confirm whether we are able to get the screenshot so you might have to refer to the previous video because this is the uh, launching the app or these steps already covered so it's a plain simple step and uh, it is executed completed let's see whether we got any screenshot yes the screenshot is there as we can see that it is attaching with the current uh, name the current activity name plus the timestamp so it will be unique every time you run it you don't need to worry about this right but remember that in future videos we will see how we can embed this into an html format or a framework that we are creating but for now you can understand this one so if you double click it you see the blank screen interesting why because there needs to be some sort of delay because the application took a little long time to load it so what i'm going to do now there we need to create a add additional delay before it takes a screenshot so in python it is equivalent of thread dot sleep here is python sleep and specify the timing in seconds so let's say three seconds and let me rerun this this time we should be able to get the screenshot so it's going to launch it closing it waits for three seconds yes the page gets loaded and you will see that screenshot once this code is finished yes so now you see the two file name this is the next file name that is created if you click on it then you see screenshot so this is how you can save any other screenshot and remember that this screenshot method is common for both the platform it supports both ios and android so you don't need to worry whether it is specific to ios or android so it can be applied to both the both the versions thanks for watching